Persian Gulf could be closed off to ships altogether. That's if tensions continue to escalate between Iran and the West. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is due to meet with Venezuelan leader Hugo Chavez later on today as part of a tour of Latin America. He's seeking support as Iran faces tighter U.S. sanctions over its nuclear program. We will discuss the intentions of the arrogant system interfering and having a military presence in other countries. We shall coordinate with our friends in Latin America to address this matter. Well, with the very latest, Laura Satrakian joins us from Dubai. Laura, it looks like the U.S. and Iran could be on a collision course here. Well, moving closer to it, Lindsay, as Iran inches towards what it, the U.S. has called two red lines, advanced nuclear enrichment at the underground Fordow facility and shutting the Strait of Hormuz, something Iran told the AP they'll do if the EU oil embargo goes through later this month. The highest level U.S. assessment to date that Iran could shut the Strait, but it would effectively trigger a military confrontation in the Persian Gulf. They've invested in uh, capabilities that, that could... Uh, in fact, for a period of time, block the Straits of Hormuz. We've invested in capabilities to ensure that if that happens, we can uh, defeat that. And so to, the simple answer is yes, they can block it. Um, of course, that is as well a, uh, we've, we've described that as an intolerable act. And it's not just intoler intolerable for us, it's intolerable to the world. But we would take action and, and reopen the Straits. Meanwhile, it could disrupt the biggest sea lane for the world's shipped oil, what one analyst called, quote, the ultimate fear in the oil market. It would spike prices. Lynn's. So what kind of preparation are you seeing to counter that risk? Well, one of the biggest contingency plans so far has floundered. A pipeline here in the UAE that would run from Abu Dhabi to the port of Fujairah. It would avoid the strait. It's a $3.3 billion project, but it's been delayed, not ready until April at the soonest. It's meant to move 1.5 million barrels per day. Most of Abu Dhabi's output saved two days at sea, but the pipeline has been delayed repeatedly by construction issues. One energy analyst, Robin Mills, pointing also to a pipeline in Saudi Arabia. It's meant to be another backup system. It could take oil to the Red Sea, up to 5 million barrels per day capacity, and it could be expanded, again, all contingency planning, to keep oil free from any Iranian chokehold in the Persian Gulf. Lindsay? Lara, thank you very much.